Hi, my name is Jeannie Hannigan, and I was honored this year to be named Washington Journalism Advisor of the Year 2022. And I certainly am so thankful for my students for nominating me, but I'm also th so thankful for the WJEA community uh, and just all the support that they have given me over the years. And it's been um, over 25 years that I've been advisor. And if some of you are new and some of you are nervous, uh, I, I was right there with you. Um, I remember when I started uh, teaching or advising, um, or we were doing a print paper, and I didn't even know um, PageMaker, which was the program that we use, which is now morphed into InDesign. But the, the beauty is that it's the student publication. So the students actually um, really get into the techniques and really uh, they, they delve into the technology much quicker and faster than, than I would. Um, so that's a great reminder um, for, all, for all of us that the students will run with, with lots of the, the material and maybe even end up teaching us. Probably another thing that I'm, I really have learned as a journalism advisor, and especially the last few years, is um, I've learned to say yes. It's so easy in classes or other uh, places working with students to say no, no, you can't do that, et cetera. But what I've learned in the last few years especially is to say yes, or okay, let's talk about this. So that could be when they pitch an, uh, an article that I'm thinking, ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. Um, I'll say, okay, good, let's talk about it. And, and they'll work, their, uh, they'll, they'll unpack it and figure out, okay, is this the best way to approach it? What's the lead? Or um, should we go about it in a different angle? And that's been really exciting too. Um, I think probably the most important thing um, as a journalism advisor and teacher is to really go in um, and have some fun. Uh, these students are wonderful. I, I know uh, uh, my students, uh, they, they take food very seriously and I completely fully support that. And the beauty is, is they even uh, take control over that and create a snack list and, and they go and they make sure and they kind of um, harass one another, to be honest, um, if they don't bring snacks. And those little things are, are, are what make up a community. And, um, and speaking of community, I do hope that you continue to go to these conferences and conventions, the WJEA um, ones, as well as the JEA ones. The national ones are great professional learning communities. Um, and, and the opportunities are, are, are immense, especially through WJEA. Um, that's one thing I also encourage you to do is uh, to encourage your students. Um, uh, my students, the last two years, have won um, uh, scholarships from uh, WJEA. In 2021, Kelly Allen won uh, the Journalist of the Year. And in 2022, this year, Ali Bunn won the Lou Flannery Journalism um, Scholarship. So go out there, have some fun, um, have some food, and hopefully you, you say yes to a lot of those uh, ideas that they have. Thank you. Take care.